Hey guys, YT1904 here again with another unboxing video. This time it is on the Turtle Beach Air Force X41 7.1 Dolby Digital Surround Sound Gaming Headset. Now, before I start, I just want to tell you guys that yet again I've got another cold, so please excuse any random sniffles or coughs or anything of that sort. So, um, yes. Anyway, on to the video. Now, the X41... Um, over in Australia, because we get ripped off daily, it's $250, and that's about the same price American, if you convert the money, uh, you know, Australian money and all that, whereas in America it's only 150 and Australia just gets ripped off like that, you know, with everything. So, I found it on Amazon for 130 and we were going to get two to five days shipping, because that didn't work, um... We asked why it wouldn't let us get it, and he said, uh, the, the guy that we were talking to said, oh, because it's not available, so I just give you free shipping. So my dad's just like, hey, can we get an extra 20 bucks off as well? And the guy said no, but turns out we did get the extra 20 bucks off, so I got this for 110 which is like more than half price off. Um, so yeah, that's very good. Um... Now, I'm going to be talking about the Turtle Beach as I go, but to unbox this box, I decided to use my dad's combat knife, which, uh, it's, it's not it's not what you use to, you know, slash at humans like you do in, like, Call of Duty or Battlefield or anything. It's just used to, uh, like, chop down trees and, like, cut barbed wire with this part here. No idea what it's called, but, uh, it's balanced well, so if I can find where it's balanced, oh, I don't know. Anyway, um... So, yes, I'm just going to cut the tape here. Hopefully it's sharp enough, because my dad got this 20 years ago, so... Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard, because I'm, like, standing over the camera, because this box is huge, and the camera can't get it, because I've got a crap camera, but... Um, yeah, so the Turtle Beach um, X41 is... I think it's like the leading Xbox headset from Turtle Beach. Like, it's the one that they want you to get because it's the best. Um, I'm just going to fold that out. And, um, yeah, it's got Dolby Digital surround sound, so it's not true surround sound, but it's virtual pretty much. So, yeah, all oh, this is nice. Ooh, this is very nice. Alright, one second. Go away. Um,. So yes, in this video, I'm also going to be um, doing a setup part to it, so I'll have an annotation uh, at the start if you just want to skip the unboxing and go straight to how to set it up. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, I've seen a couple of videos on it. You know, it's nothing too dramatic. Like, you don't need a specific Xbox cable. Like, a lot of people use the HDMI cable. Like, the HDMI audio adapter thing that comes with the HDMI cable or something, I don't know. I wouldn't know because I don't have a HDMI cable. Uh, I just use the standard HD, uh, HD cables that comes with my Xbox, the Xbox Pro. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, nothing too fancy. So, that's always good. That's a plus. Alright, pretty much out now. There's, um, cardboard. Go away. I don't like you. Alright, so here's the Turtle Beach itself. Um, I'm going to see if I can lower the camera now. One second. Here's the Turtle Beach in its box. Now, it is a cardboard box around it with some of this really annoying plastic crap around it. Now, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, there's no wear and tear I can feel on it. This side of the box, just got to see if it focus. That ear. Alright, it's not going to focus. There's a picture of the um, RF transmitter and the uh, headset itself with the uh, talkback cable. Um, with the Air Force. And on the back, it's got like everything that you can do with it. Like it's got 7.1 surround uh, rather than stereo. And then it's got all this other stuff up here. Um... It's just telling you what it can do. Another picture of how to set it up and stuff. Then a nice picture of the cop, ear cop thing. Uh, so yes, now I'm going to unbox it and move the camera even more. Um, just excuse the light because I just noticed that it looks absolutely crap on this video viewfinder thing. 
Um, I'm just going to sit down. There we go. And uh, so, yeah, if the lighting's bad, I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can really do. Because uh, it is night time over here. So, yes. I got this at 8 in the morning. Because I was sick from school, I couldn't play Xbox. So I decided not to unbox it. But, um, yeah, this isn't coming off. So, um, yeah, but I've had to live with this till, like, from 8 in the morning to, like, now, which is, like, oh, like 5 o'clock at night or something ridiculous like that. Uh, so, I think you should feel for me. I think you should hit the subscribe button because of that. Chuck that box away. So, here we have it. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, well, this isn't going to work. Alright, time to relocate. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back. This has been a very fun video. I've been moving around my house a lot, so that's been pretty cool for me. I've been able to explore parts of my house that I've never been to because I stay in my room all day. But, uh, yes, so here we have it. Um, I've had to put this on the floor because my camera couldn't go down very far. But, um, yeah, so it's got this uh, cardboard cover, I guess. Um, kind of fits around the... Uh, Annoying plastic shell. I don't see why they put this on. Apparently, you can open this with your hands if you know how to, but I have no clue how to, so I'll be back. I'm just gonna get some scissors. Hi, lady. Yeah, that was my cat, if you saw that. Um, yeah, I'll let her in because I had to go get the scissors. So, yes, now I'm going to cut this at the top. Open sesame, please. Far out. Yeah, this is the one thing that I absolutely hate about packaged items. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was good at this. Ugh. I'm a little bit out of shape. <sighs> Hello, cat. Just run off. That's cool. Ah, oh, there we go. I did it. Whoa, I'm happy. Alright, serious face now. Serious, serious. Yeah, the review's gonna be a lot more serious than this. It's gonna be professional. And not ridiculous like this. Okay, so now we've got all the extras out after stabbing myself with the, uh, you can't see that, but it's starting to bleed. With the stupid invention plastic shell piece of nonsense. Finally got it open, so um, here's the uh, USB power, uh, yeah, whatever power cord thing. Uh, this is a good thing, it powers by USB and not by a uh, wall plug, so you can just shove it into your Xbox, uh, which is very good. Um, I noticed that the X4s had like, it's either one or two power plugs that it used, and this is very long, so if you wanted to put your transmitter throughout the other side of your bloody house, you can do that. This is the um, optical in cable or something that does the uh, surround sound. Now, um, the uh, transmitter is advertised as 7.1, which is true, it can do that, but this cable can only carry like 5.1 and 6.1 if I'm correct. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter because no game is like in 7.1, I don't think. So, um, because like games don't really care about sound at the moment. Uh, I'm just taking all the wah! far out. Um, yeah, so here's the cable. It's very springy. Yes. Um, here's the talkback cable, which is the cable used to plug into your Xbox. No, it is not fully wireless, but yes, you can walk around your room, like, with your Xbox controller in your hand without having to get, get like, you know, uh, attached to your transmitter or whatever. So there it is. Um, it's got a volume switch here for your chat volume and a mic mute thing here. Um, and it also comes with AA batteries, which is good. I'll see how the battery life goes. Apparently it's crap, but, uh, user's guide just in case you have no idea what the hell you bought and you want to learn about it and how to set it up. You get a sticker, which it's the X4s, so I don't know. Why they put this with the X41s, but uh, yeah, 
Uh, this is a warranty thing, because it's like, we can help with your problems for the X31 and the X41. Don't care. This is like another one of those welcome guide things, like what, what you get with the iPod. It's telling you everything about it, which is nice. Now, on to the big beauty that we've all been waiting for. This is the headset. Now, I'm going to take this out very carefully. Because this is like surgery here. Right, I'm going to take the headset out first, and wow, these are actually pretty light. I wasn't expecting that. I played with my, um, <laughs> played with my friend's X31s, and they were comfy because of the oval-shaped things, and they were light. These feel a little lighter. Um, they're not mind-blowingly light, but they're light for headphones, especially this size. Um, I'm just going to put them on, and you're going to hear me have orgasm sounds, so please don't worry about that. Um, oh, yes, these are very comfy. They actually go around my ears, and if you've noticed in my other videos, my ears, especially my right one, like to stick out a bit. I've got those sticky out of ears, not as much as what I used to have when I was younger, but um, they like to stick out. I've had a real big problem with headphones, because they'd always go over my ears instead of around my ears, and they would squish my ears, and I'd have to end up taking them out. But uh, here's the transmitter, and this is very light as well. It's pretty big. But uh, on here, you've got a few lights, digital in, the ProLogic 2, Dolby Digital Surround, the bypass which changes it, the volume stick, which is here. I've also got a headset port if anyone else wants to uh, listen. You've got your digital in for the uh, black cord. You've got your digital out if you wanted to hook it up to some speakers. You got your line in left and right just in case you didn't want to listen to surround sound. And you've also got your line in volume, your power cord, and your power button. And the headset just sticks on like that. You've also got your um, uh, detachable mic here. There we go. It's detachable. That's pretty nice just in case you didn't want to use it. But um, yes, so that is the unboxing, and now I'm going to go to my setup. Alright, now onto the setup part of this video. Just a heads up, this is going to be more professional, uh, because I've recorded this afterwards, and the other part just got a bit out there, just like my usual videos. <laughs> um, so, out of the box you should have the Total Beach headset with the router thing, I forgot the name of it, the um, uh, digital in out digital surround sound cable I forgot the name of it again uh, your power cable with the USB on the end and the white talkback cable if you don't know what that is that's the thing with the little remote on the end that thing and also you should have your Xbox um, cables now a lot of people use the HDMI I don't so if you have HDMI cable it would have this but it would connect to um, like a little edge thing where it just sticks out and has like simple audio things that you can plug in so it's like really short stops about there has this massive plastic thing on it anyway so I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube of how to set this up and they use the HDMI thing if anyone doesn't have any HDMI this is how you set it up so first things first make sure you have batteries in your headset otherwise it's not gonna work uh, that's kind of a no-brainer, but um, if I take the headset off and I show you this on the back down there, that's the power uh, cord insert, and up here is the digital in insert, which is that thin black wire. Now, to insert this, you grab either end, doesn't matter which one. Uh, also, by the way, it will come with a little plastic covering. Uh, I've taken mine off, you know, on both ends. Um, I've taken mine off and put them. Uh, up in my little cabinet, which I'll show you later. But um, yeah, just grab any one and just insert it in, like so. You have to line it up because it's a funny shape. But uh, yeah, so there you've got your surround sound in, sort of. Now, to insert the power cable, it's simple, you know, just insert it in. There you go. And that is all you need to do with this. Next, what you want to do is you want to grab the other end of your cable. Now, just pretend that this is plugged into your Xbox. I'm not going to do it because it's too hard. 
because I'll quickly show you my gaming setup. Here it is. The Xbox is out because I just pulled out the cable. It usually sits up there, but um, yeah. And what I do is I set mine up right there for the little router because if you set it up too close to the Xbox, you're going to get loads of interference because it is a wireless um, transmitter and it does use 2.4 gigahertz, which is the most common uh, s signal to set out, so it will interfere. So put it as far away from your Xbox as possible. Now, so yeah, just pretend this is plugged into your Xbox. You see right here, there's a little black slot. And it is similar to the one on that, and that is because it works for this. Now, you just have to find the right shape, find the right insert again. There you go. And this is plugged into your Xbox. Um, this is plugged into your TV. And you should be good to go. But you're not. I just remembered. Insert this into either one of those three USB cables. That could be the two on the front or the one at the back. I use the one at the back for the um, wireless um, internet thing, so I use one of the front ones. And uh, yeah, all you do is you hit the power button, and it should turn up three, two lights here. And what you want to do is hit this little bypass button to get it from the just the normal. Uh, digital 2 to the Dolby Digital Surround Sound. Now that's Pro Logic, um, and um, so that's the Digital Surround Sound, and that's what you want if you want to get good sound and you want to actually use this headset properly. Because if you just have it on the other one, it's just going to be stereo. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. Check out the review of this coming up shortly, and other videos such as my Minecraft videos and more shorts, walkthroughs, guides, reviews, pretty much anything, subscribe. That includes guitar covers as well, which I'll be uploading soon. So once again, thank you for watching, guys, and have a nice day.